Hey everyone, this is Herbal Panda. If the video's kind of shaky, I'm holding the camera, but I just thought I'd give an update. So yesterday I was waiting on um, my room and I learned from one day where there was a mishap and they were just delayed and like really slow. And I wasted one day of my vacation, um, basically just waiting around to get into this room. And so I made sure this time and the time before, before I went out and did stuff before I even bothered with the hotel and left really early from the hotel I was checking out of. So anyway, um, I went out and I did different things. Um, I went to the Alki Beach, I did all that type of stuff. But one of the issue, uh, one of the things I did was since I had the bike with me, since I was in Alki Beach and it was like really cool out, I was like, you know what, let's take this um, bike out and see, you know, if it's still gonna give me the error code and all that stuff. And I said, if it does, big deal, I push it back and, um, I'm on Alki Beach, it's nice and everything. I'm not pushing it in 90 some degree weather, you know. And um, I took it out, I babied it a little bit, kept it on three, then I bumped it up to five. I kept running it when I was getting ready to bring it back. And I was like, no, let's just run the battery. I run it down to like one bar. And I just kept running it and running it. And I had no problems out of it, so whatever. So anyway, today, and I got some footage, I took it down to downtown Seattle. It was doing fine in Seattle. So but I had no issues with it. But unfortunately, all this time I've never got a flat. I got a flat. And the sad thing about it was, is I was going to pick the bike up because I wanted to try out one of those rental scooters. I've never done one of the little rental scooters before. So I was like getting ready to turn around and go, you know, put the bike back in the trunk. I uh, got some footage and stuff like that. All of a sudden, here's doo -doo 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 -doo, and I start feeling it. And of course I got a flat. Tried to pump it up, wouldn't go up and all that good stuff. But unfortunately it's Sunday, so. It is what it is, you know? So we couldn't get it fixed. There was a couple places, I think REI does, but eh, that's not gonna bother with them. I wanna do a local bike shop and Rad Power was open, but I'm like, I am not taking this electric XP to Rad Power. You know what I mean? Um, no. So it's not a big deal. Fold it up, put it back in the thing, but I didn't have any problems up to that point. One thing I did do, so since that happened, I, um, I tried, I got the app and then I tried one of the rental, not the scooters. I was going to do the scooter. I downloaded it too, but then they had the bikes. I saw people flying around on their little bikes with like 14 inch tires. And to be honest with you, um, that little bike was fun. It had a comfy seat and it's tiny. It's tiny. It was tiny, but it was, e it was actually pretty easy to ride around town. And I kind of liked it. It was kind of fun because what happened was once I put the bike up, I went and just walked down to the piers and stuff and there's some hills. So I started walking up them and after a while I was like, man, I'm gonna need another shower to keep this up. And it was not super hot today, but it's hot enough. So then I saw one of them and that's when I uh, downloaded the app and it was pretty easy and you just, you know, use the app and then it unlocks it and you ride it and you, your, your, your um, build on the longevity of your ride. But I zipped around Seattle on this little bike and they're all over. So if one dies, you jump on another, but it was basically my little Uber tell you the truth they got me back to my car but then I got to my car and I said nah, I'm gonna ride a little bit more and um I'm kind of gonna look at one of those as, as like a backup because they don't um especially you know if there's times when I don't want to take a bigger bike and I'm going to a city that thing was perfect for the city and I'm I'm being honest with you I had no problems and I'm you know six foot tall 200 some pounds and it it zipped my little zipped me around all over the place got me everywhere I wanted to go um, the only thing I think I've learned on this, I mean, one of the things I've learned on this trip too is my hybrid, if I'm going to take the hybrid or I have the hybrid in the future, I'm not taking the bike or, or any bike unless it's like tiny, like the Anchier. Now I could have took the Anchier because it takes up my room. It's going to be, I'm going to take the scooter or take the scooter and a smaller bike. Like, like I said, the Anchor or some, or maybe not take a bike at all and just rent bikes here and there. And the reason being is the scooter does not have, you don't have to worry about flats or anything. But it, and, and it's also that it doesn't take up much room. Also, even though the electric XP folds up and stuff, it's a different animal. So one of the things I'm gonna look at when I get home too, and I, I think I already talked about another video, it may not be right away or anything, is picking up another van, but I want a, a Japanese van this time, just because my caravan went over 100,000. And even though I like Dodge, 
a lot of times I get rid of them well before 100,000 miles because I've had some of my first Dodges, it's always transmission problems and stuff. Um, may not have been the case with the, the van I got rid of, you know, but it's just it's just hesitation on my part because I just had that luck in the past with them. So uh, Toyota or Honda, you know, most unless I can somehow find an E150 Ford, a bigger one, but if not, it's a minivan. Minivans are perfect, but with a minivan, sure, I would I would throw in whether it's an electric XP or whether it's the rad, uh, the rad um, rad mini. Uh, but I'm, after riding that, I think I can do with the Fido and the Fido X. I think it is that goes like 50 miles or so on sure. charge and goes up to 20 miles an hour. That has bigger tires than that, but folds up smaller because it has a huge battery. So I'm like, I can probably, I, I can do that because I was riding and I was, ha I was having really, I was having no problem. And the seat wasn't adjustable, but I sat fine. On, oh, and this wasn't a pedal one. So it was just it was one of the smaller ones where you just put your feet there. I was fine. The only thing it had, it struggled on those hills, but these aren't your average hills here, though. You're walking up. These are like, you know, you get a calf workout type of ones. And I'm guessing 250, maybe 350 watt motor in it, but I could have brought the Angier with me too. So in the future, though, that's why I am going to look at it as the minivan, because with the minivan, I can bring whatever folding bike I have or, you know, whatever. And then uh, always have my backup um, scooter. My scooter would have made up those hills, though. That's the thing. My scooter's a thousand watts altogether, five hundred in the front, five hundred in the back. So it would have made it up there. But the electric XP probably wouldn't have made it up there. I'm I'm pretty sure that XP wouldn't make it up those some of those hills, um, the big ones going up from the piers, because they were steep. And I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have. If I I would have probably burned up half my battery, or overheated that hub motor again. So when I was riding it, I never got to those type of hills. I was just zipping around on mostly flat land and very limited inclines at five though. So anyway, I just wanted to give you an update though. So right now it has a flat, could have happened here, could have happened back there. Um, like I said, the only thing about it was, is I was, I was getting ready to turn around and put it up because I wanted to go try one of the rentals that I saw, saw all over the street. So, but you know, whatever, it's not a big deal, except for it's Sunday. You know, so you can't really get it fixed. Um, so I tell you what, though, ooh, if it didn't have, um, you know, throttle on it, that tire flat, yeah, it almost reminded me of a miniature size of my motorcycles when I'd get rear flats on my motorcycles and trying to move them. I've had it happen to me twice on motorcycles and, um, you know, 700 pound motorcycles and, oh, it's like dead weight. And you can't really feather the throttle unless you want to tear your rim up. But on this one, you can just feather the little throttle a little bit and just walks next to you or you put it in walk mode. But yeah, anyway, just that's just a quick update of what's going on right now. So hopefully it's fixed. Water, moisture, who knows? Don't know. Um, it's working. I'll reevaluate when I get home after I get the, uh, you know, all that stuff. But right now, I don't really care. It's not that big of a deal to me. Um, I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, and by the way, Seattle's a really cool city. Uh, down by the piers, gorgeous, of course. Seattle's cool. And I got lucky today, it was a 70 degree day versus the last days of 90s. So it was a good day to walk around. If you never tried those rental scooters though, I suggest you go check one out though. Uh, or, or I said the scooters, excuse me, the bikes, the little bikes. Um, they're pretty fun, especially in the city, especially in cities you don't know. Um, yeah. I was like, oh, I got on it and I was like, oh, I should have got on this earlier. This is fine. I got all around all the places I wanted to go to, wasn't super sweaty, you know. Um, only thing is, is you can fall in love with them and not do any real walk-in and, you know, not get any, like, any exercise at all. Uh, so, it's, you know, you gotta do it in, you know, moderation, I guess, because it's no pedaling with it, but, you know, You've been walking around a lot, and especially in the cities like Seattle and different ones, you see one of those, you hop on it and go zip around, take you out further. It runs out of charge, you go pick up another one. There's another one right around the corner from wherever you dropped that one off at. And everything's done through the app. Anyway, not too much more of your time. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone, and that's just an update on what's going on. Um, yeah, I might have to order a tube. They probably, hopefully, since it's Seattle, some of these have the four, four by 20s, I think they are, or whatever they are. Um, if they don't, whatever, I'll order one from when I get back and get it switched out. I won't change oh, my, uh, it's not that I can't. Why? It's probably 20 bucks or something to have someone else do it for me. I do a regular mountain bike, which is real simple, but I don't want to mess with all that. Anyway, 
Have a good day, everyone.